Hello, everyone. I hope we are online and going. All right, we are live. Hello, everyone. Uh, today, I want to talk to you about a meditation to find the answers within your heart. I believe that you have the answers to everything single question you have you have the answers to um every single problem you have everything that you are seeking is right inside of you and i know that if you're watching this you are a person that resonates with this kind of content that you know that you know you can get inside you can get advice you can listen to amazing teachers but nothing compares to the teacher that lives within you nothing compares to the guru that is right here in the center of your beingness that knows everything about you and knows so much about you that you can ask any questions at any time so today's meditation is going to be about finding the answers within your heart the answer is you here at Rhythmia. Uh, there is a class called The Answer is You. It's a class by Reverend Michael Beckwith. And the way that we teach it is that uh, we must raise the level of our questions to find the answers from within. If we have victim questions, we're going to get victim answer, victim consciousness answers. So I am very excited to be with you today. I'm Paola Castro. And I know that is not a mistake. It's pure synchronicity that you tuned in for today's meditation here at Rhythmia Life Advancement Center. So I study in the Heart Math Institute. I got a, a certification with them in the Heart Math Institute. If you don't know what that is, is an institute in California that has studied the heart for the last 30 plus years. And what they have found, what they have found so many incredible um, things about the heart, but what they have found that is relevant for you and I today for this meditation that we're about to do is that your heart and my heart, it's emitting more messages, it's sending more signals than your brain. In fact, there is a really beautiful story of my sister-in-law getting a uh, ultrasound. She was pregnant of my little niece and she knew when she got pregnant and she went to the doctor and said to the doctor, doctor, I am ready to see my, hear my baby's heart. And the doctor said, lady, it's a bit soon. We're just in week six, but we'll do it. So the doctor agreed to do the ultrasound and when he was doing the ultrasound, he told her and my mom and my brother, be very quiet. We're about to find the heart. And there it was, a little sesame seed beating. And the doctor said, you guys look how interesting. The heart is the first thing that comes alive. The brain comes second. The brain will start developing weeks seven and in the, in, the, in the weeks after and all the organs. But the heart is the first thing that brings you into existence. And then it will be the last thing uh, before you transition back to eternity. So that is why we want to get here to get all of the answers. So this is what we're going to be doing today. I want you to ask a question to yourself. What is that one question? What is, what is that one answer that you've been looking for? It could be that you have a situation in your life. It could be a financial one. It could be a, a relationship issue that you're going through. It could be an internal question. Perhaps you've been feeling a little lost, that you're lacking clarity, or perhaps you're feeling amazing and you're asking yourself, how can I give back to the world? How can I give all of this love that I have right here, ready to, to explode and, and love for the world? How can I give it to the world? So whether you're having a beautiful day or perhaps today it's a little bit of a low, dense day, doesn't matter where you are in the spectrum, just bring to your awareness a question. And this is what I, I learned, this technique that I'm about to teach you, this meditation. I learned it in the Heart Math 
Institute. Your heart has all of the answers and it's always emitting um, signals more than your brain. And they have done studies. I'm not going to get too into it. Uh, that could be another video, but um, another meditation. But they have seen how the heart has the capacity to uh, predict things that are there are going to happen bef before they happen. So your intuition, your discernment, it's right here, in the center of your beingness. You know what's best for you. I know it's tempting to want to uh, get people that we love or admire to give us advice, but it's even more courageous when you get really quiet and you say, I'm going to get the answers from within. I'm going to get the answers from within. So I'm going to invite you one more time in case you just got here. What is an, a question that you have? Oh, hi, Sean. Hi, Terry. Good to see you online. Uh, what is a question that you have about your life, about a situation? And I want you to bring that question to this meditation. So we're going to close our eyes in this moment. And I am going to invite you to start breathing a little slower and a little deeper than you usually do it. So it looks something like this. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. This first breath that we're taking right now are sending a signal to the body temple that it can relax, that it can stop for a moment, that it is okay to be right here, right now. So just start breathing a little slower and a little deeper. I highly recommend you close your eyes. Just take deep breaths in and exhale out. With, with each inhalation, I want you to imagine that you're bringing beautiful oxygen to every single area of your body where there is tension. But there might be some worry, some anxiety, some fear, some frustration trapped in the body. Simply breathe in and out, relaxing a little deeper, getting into this beautiful present moment. Now the next step is that you're going to breathe in a pattern of five seconds, inhaling and exhaling in five seconds. So let's do it together. I'm going to count for you. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five, inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five, inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five. Continue breathing with that counting, inhaling in five counts, exhaling in five counts. What we're doing right now, it's getting into a state of coherence, getting into a state of calmness, If you've been in fight or flight, 
Take this moment and gift it to yourself. Inhaling in and out, slow and deep. Now I want you to imagine that right at the center of your chest, there are two little nostrils, a little nose right in the center of your chest, and you are going to breathe through those nostrils. Come on, breathe in through your heart. Exhale out the heart. Don't forget to count the five times. Inhale. Exhale five times out the heart. Now use your imagination as a child. Imagine that little nose breathing in through your heart. Breathe out. Now as you're imagining that breath going in and out your heart, slow and deep. Just feel the expansion of your heart. Oh, it is so dangerous to live with a close heart. So let's be brave today and open your heart. Break that heart open, like Rumi said. Allow the light to come in. And exhale. Just be willing. Take those deep breaths in and out your heart. Now as you're in this space of your heart, just see that heart opening feeling the expansiveness of it. And our next step is I'm going to invite you to imagine or to bring to your mind's eye a moment, a being, or a situation currently in your life that makes you feel deep appreciation. What or who in your life, when you think about it, you feel a deep sense of appreciation. Breathe in and out, slow and deep through your heart as you are thinking of this being that makes you feel deep appreciation and gratitude deep sense of care. And just notice as you think about that being or that thing, it could be a space in nature, it could be your pet, it could be a friend. Just notice how you slowly start tapping into the feeling of appreciation of love, of care, of gratitude. Keep breathing in and out your heart. Allow the expansion to happen. Now, if anybody watching is feeling a little bit of pain in the heart or in the throat, know that that is normal. It just means that you're activating your heart a little deeper than you usually do it. 
you're being aware of the wise guru that lives within you. Just keep breathing in and out, welcoming the wisdom, welcoming that state of coherence. Now just one more time, bring back that image of that being or that situation or that space in nature that makes you feel deep appreciation and breathe it into your heart. Now in this moment, I want you to bring in the question you have. And I want you to ask your heart, dear heart, what must I know about this situation? What must I know? Go back to your heart, breathe in and out. And allow the heart to give you one word, one sentence, one phrase. And do not question it. Just breathe it in and out. Now, if you need a little bit more, you can ask your heart, can you tell me a little bit more about that? Breathe in and out. And allow the heart to show you what is it that you must know about the question that you have asked. Breathe in and out. Now we're going to breathe the last five times through our hearts. Now these breaths are going to be filled with gratitude. Gratitude for your heart that is, has been beating since the beginning of times of your times here on earth. It has never failed you. It's always with you, reminding you. There is a beautiful song playing inside of you. Let's do it together. Inhale deep gratitude into your heart and let go with gratitude. Four more times. Inhale gratitude right through that little nose in the center of your chest. Exhale with gratitude. Inhale, gratitude. Let go with gratitude. Two more times. Inhale, deep gratitude for your heart. Thank you, heart. Thank you, wise teacher that lives in the center of my beingness. And simply let go now. Inhale. Hold on to that gratitude and now exhale gratitude. Now let's stay in silence for a couple of moments. Feeling the benefits of this meditation. Feeling the gratitude be the medicine our body needed this 
afternoon, this evening. And when you are ready, very slowly and very gracefully, open your eyes and come back to the room. Mm. So good. I would love to know if you got an answer. What did your heart tell you through this um, meditation? Um, I cannot remember the name of this a specific technique, but I took it from the Heart Math, in Heart Math Institute. And what we just did, we went to the center of our hearts, we got into a space of coherence, so that we can listen to the wisdom of our hearts. And how do you get in the space of coherence? You get into appreciation and deep care. Anything. It could be the smallest thing. I like to think about my niece and my nephew when I do this because they're, they're children and there's so much innocence. Their innocence makes my heart expand. And then I ask my question. What do I need to know about this situation? What do I need to know about this conversation that I'm about to have with this person? What do I need to know about the current state of the world? What do I need to know? Um, the other day, it was very clear to me that I needed to know that all I need to do is to trust, is to trust in the unfoldment of, of things. Now, that was my answer to my life. We're all different. That is why it's so important that you tap into your own intelligence, into your own um, intuition and, and discernment. We're all living different expressions of the universe, different lives, different circumstances, different countries, different genders, different uh, childhood. We're all very unique in our own experience. So that is why there's so much value in doing these kinds of meditations where you go within and ask right here. We can sit for hours in classes with teachers that are amazing and they have the, the capacity to open the door to, um, to the heavens, to the universe. But at the end of the day, you're the only one that can make the choice to walk in through those doors and to, and to find the answers that you're looking for. Brumi said, how come you're so uh, distracted or fascinated, no, distracted, fascinated with the world, with there's so much gold right here? Why are you so fascinated with everything that is happening outside of you if there's so much gold over here? Something like that. I didn't make good justice to that quote, uh, but go something like that. There's so much inside of us. So I encourage you to come back to this video, to this meditation. Anytime you have a question, do this meditation, or maybe you already learned the steps, you can do it on your own and ask and wait. Now, I can hear a question. I don't know why, but I'm, I'm just hearing the question, but Paula, how do I know it's my brain and not my heart? Uh, or vice versa, how do I know it's my, my heart and not my brain? Well, usually the ego or the over, thinking mind is loudest and first to speak. It has all this blah, 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 blah. When you do this meditation and you wait for your heart to answer, it's usually a very elegant answer. It's like a, it's just like a whisper. It has no agenda. It doesn't have any story around. It just tells you, like the other day, it just told me, trust, that's it. There's not much um, stories going on around trust. You need to trust because blah, blah, blah. no, it was just an elegant word, trust. Sometimes I will be reminded by my heart about a beautiful phrase or quote that I really like. And it will be just that. So the mind, the ego, it's loud and it has a lot to say. Your heart is very elegant. It has one word, one phrase and it whispers. And if you're ready to listen to it, you can listen to it, but if you're not ready, it steps back, very respectful, waiting for you to be ready to listen to it. No rush, whenever you want, but I know you are someone that 
want to listen to your heart. Um, you're ready to listen to your heart. Um, so I see that Wilma was from oh, Scotland. That's so cool. Hi, Wilma. Barbara was here. Kimberly, hi, Peter. Um, I love that. Peter, drop into love. That's so beautiful. Be at peace. Let it go, says Dawn. Um, Claudia, amiga, thank you. Um, I was considering getting tenants while I was in the house versus renting it out completely when I'm gone on travel later on this year. She said, privacy. I asked for more and she said, privacy will be hard to get and you won't like it. Thank you, Paola. That's so good. Your heart is so wise. Privacy. And here's the thing, when you, when you do this meditation, sometimes you'll get a word like that, privacy. And you say, can you tell me more about that? And you feel the vibration of the word. Oh, that this makes sense for me. Uh, it might not make sense for someone sitting next to you, but it makes sense for you. So um, it's very interesting how the heart answers. It says, let's see. Hello, the will love. Um, Sean says, much love. P. Perception is the key. Thank you. You're beautiful. So it makes your mark. Oh, thank you. Thank you. It's funny, Sean, you said P. I used to uh, tell my class, I am Paola with the P. Paola. <laughs> You're so welcome. Uh, Darren says, uh, you have the power. You have the power, Darren. Oh, yes. Hmm. So much power inside of us. And Celine says, thank you, thank you, Celine. All right. Well, this was today's meditation. Um, you have it here in the library of, of Rhythmia. Um, check it out whenever you need to get an answer. You'll have the answer right, right there waiting for you. Have a wonderful, beautiful uh, rest of your day. Lita, Lita. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Lita. Thank you. Uh, and I will see you next week. I'm here once a week uh, with these meditations. Love you. Bye.